The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 29th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Steve E. Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. Now, if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking. That means go ahead and send me an email. Now, send that to Steve at TFNN.com. And if you would be kind enough to put radio show question inside that subject heading. Of course, inside our Tiger's Den will any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show right now. We've got a board of red. You've got the Dow down 277, the S&P off 38, NASDAQ 153, Russell's off 15, semis down 53, Tranny's off 177. The lowest percentage move to the downside right now is in the New York Stock Exchange. That's up about six tenths percent. The highest move down percentage wise is the semis up near off nearly two percent. Uh, you got gold trading out at 1752. That's up two bucks. Silver down 10 cents at 1872. Lights recruit up 234. 95.35 is the print there. Lead the charge dollar wise the upside. You've got pin duo duo up 11 bucks and change, nearly 20%. Sprout uranium miners, uh, U R N M up uh, six bucks, nearly 560 or 8%. Diamondback energy five bucks, three and seven tenths percent. To the downside, you've got monolithic power systems off 13 bucks. 2.8% booking holdings down 23, a little over 1%. Snowflake down 13 or nearly 7%. Domino's Pizza off 10 bucks. That's 2.5% to the downside. So we've got some movers and we have some shakers. We do not have any requests at the moment. So let's just go take a look at the charts. What charts are the ones we want to take a look at? So let's do this here. Let's start by taking a look at the daily time frame charts. Let's do this daily time frame chart. Um, set of time frame charts here. Here are the four equity future contracts. Friday's action took out B points of an A to B equals CD to the downside. So if you take a look at the upper left-hand corner, you've got the ES mini. The one-to-one -one price projection level, 4,050. The way the price came off of that C point, that's a wide-ranging bar that suggests more than a one-to-one -one move to the downside. We can see that price along the left side of that C to D leg. That, that suggests more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the downside. That price projection, the one one is at 4,000, the one 1.272, 3,941, and 1.618, 3,866. Those are the areas that are in play out there. Now, what you want to do is watch for, regardless of what those targets are, watch for some type of bullish reversal candle. Not to one of those forms will you have any kind of potential bottom. Same pattern, really, for the NQ. Now, it has not made its way down to the one-to-one -one price projection level. That's at 12.302, the 1.272, 12.053, and the 1.68, 11.735. Again, each of those are targets in play. We can see a short-term rising trend line which is right around the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern out there. Again, you need a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Gartley buy pattern or a buy the D point. The Dow equity future contract has attained the one-to-one -one level. The one-to-one -one level is at 31,951. Next level to the downside, 31,544. And below that, 31,028. Same game plan here. Whether it's the ES, the NQ, the Russell, 
or the Dow Equity Future contract. In the case of the Russell, it's one-to-one -one price projection. Needs to get down to about the 1846-60 level. You're down at 1884 right now. Below that, you'd be looking at 1812, and below that, 1768. So A to B equals CD patterns to the downside for each of the daily time frame charts out there. What else do we have for the daily time frame? Excellent question. As we go take a look at the white background charts, we will see a few TD9 count patterns that could be forming. Today will become bar number seven for the ES Mini on its daily time frame. In order for a TD9 count bottom to form, first you have to have nine bars that meet the conditions. Second, the bottom or the low, I should say, needs to occur on bars eight, nine, or the bar following bar number nine. So that's as if there's going to be a TD9 count bottom that's going to form, there's going to be lower price between um, tomorrow and Thursday out there. This is only bar number seven. Tomorrow would be pump bar number eight on Tuesday. So that says a TD9 count pattern can form between Tuesday and Thursday out there. So that suggestion with regard to that pattern, we would see lower price than where we're at today. That is the same pattern setup for the NQ. Today will become, though, bar no I, I take that back. Boop. Do the quick reverse there. That is not the same pattern as inside the NQ. The same in the NQ today becomes bar number eight. So this could be today inside the NQ could be the bottom or it could occur if uh, from the TD9 count pattern. Bar number nine still has to complete out there. Uh, in order for that to occur, tomorrow's close needs to be below. Let me give you that number out here. 12, 929, 75. If price is below that tomorrow, then you'll have bar number nine. You'll effectively have a TD9 count bottom, but that could complete on the bar following bar number nine, which would be Wednesday. If we take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract, that is very similar to the ES Mini. Today will become bar number seven. That says it'd be tomorrow through Thursday, where that low could come in to identify a TD9 count bottom pattern. And the Russell 2000, it's in a world of its own. It's got that A to B equals CD pattern. It's got TD9 count breakout support at 1806.80. So in summary, with regard to the daily charts, you've got the A to B equals CD patterns. You've got the ES and the Dow that have made it very close to their one-to-one -one price projection level. You need lower to go in the NQ and the Russell 2000. You've got potential TD9 count bottom patterns forming in the ES, NQ, and Dow. They would form sometime this week out here. Um, so that's what we're looking at on the daily time frame. What else do we want to look at? Let's go take a look at the two time frames that, in essence, are kind of controlling the equity future contracts. They are the five-hour time frame chart. I believe we looked at that on Friday. The reason being, if we take a look at the five-hour time frame chart for the ES Mini, well, actually, for all four equity future contracts, you have Rosamund indicator signals that have been triggered. These patterns, much like an A to B equals CD, they also need bullish or bearish, in this case here, bullish reversal candles to complete the pattern. We do not have that in the ES Mini, at least not just yet. What we do have is price getting up to the gap down, the gap down from last night. If we take a look at that, that's those blue lines on my screen out there. In fact, each of, well, I can't say each of them, three of the four have gotten up to that gap to the downside and have closed lower. So you want to watch those gaps today. If price closes above those areas, that suggests a run for the oscillator unchanged lines. So Rosemont indicator signals inside each of the five-hour time frame charts the one that has a uh, confirmed bottom signal is the uh, Russell 2000. But again, it's gapped down, which is at the price level of, I'll give that to you for the uh, Russell out here. That's 1889.90. You get a close above that, price would head up to 1905. We'll be right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're take a look at the equity future contracts out here. The first time frame that we're looking at uh, that's really controlling things is that five-hour time frame chart out there. The second pattern is, uh, and here we've got TD nine count bottoms for each of the equity future contracts for their 60-minute time frame. So those have led to tests of uh, of uh, resistance, the bottom of the current profile. So, for example, in the last hour in the ES mini, price got right up to 40.49. The actual high, it actually got up to, uh, I think, a, a quarter, a tick out there. Uh, the high was, oh, I take that back. The high was 40, 50, 50 out there. But that's resistance at 40, 49. That held, price pulled back. Uh, now, support has not been taken out. Support would be the bottom of its TD9 count uh, pattern out there, and that's at 4,950. So we're just consolidating sideways. Resistance has not failed. Support has not failed. Hmm something to think about that's really the same set of patterns we have inside the nq now the support area to be watching here is going to be the low of that td9 count pattern the close below 12406 is going to suggest lower price now we took a look at the daily time frame charts they really helped us understand the a to b equals cd price levels out there so if you jotted those down on your pad of paper then you can understand where price is likely headed to now price did not make its way all the way up to the bottom of the current profile 12652 it got up to a high of 12610 in the case of the uh, Dow Equity Future contract, its TD9 count took price up to resistance, the bottom of its profile, and it did that at 4 o'clock this morning. Um, didn't get up there during that last hour. There is a Rhodes-Bent indicator signal here that is being triggered. And if we get a bullish reversal candle at noon, that's what we showed at 11.20, doesn't matter at 11.20, and at least suggest making another run for 32.150. If price can get above 32.150, then it will certainly repair that window. That was the gap from last night and suggest a further move higher. Now, the further move higher would be at 32,375 and 32,599. Again, you want to watch the low of the TD9 count pattern. If price closed below 31,943, that's suggesting lower price. In the Russell 2000, the level to watch the downside is at the 1872.60. Uh, price to the upside to watch the bottom of its profile at 1891.60. We saw the last two hours, both the one at 11, ended at 11, one at 10, price got up to that level, found resistance, and backed off. So we've got support holding here, 
or TD9 count bottom patterns holding, and we also have resistance holding. So we're kind of in a stalemate as we speak right now. The five hour and the 60 minute time frame, I believe, are the two best charts to be looking at to give you a feel for what the message of the markets is. Of course, we took a look at the daily time frame to give us a little bit bigger picture out there. So let's go to our uh, first question out here, the only question that we have. And this is from Alan D. And Alan wants to take a look at ticker symbol CCJ. Um, I've seen a little bit of chatter inside the Tigers then about this as well. That is Kamiko CCJ, Kamiko Corp, trading out at 28.92. And uh, TASA confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. So let's draw in that pattern, the A to B, and we'll just simply move the A to B level. We'll move this over to the C to D leg out here. I think we took a look at this on uh, Friday. You can see it has now exceeded the one-to-one -one area. All this means is to be on the uh, lookout for a bearish reversal candle. If we don't get that, price should continue to move higher. Um, on the A to B equals CD, let me have, I'm going to have to do this on another uh, my other screen out here. So I'll do that here, and I'll give you those price projections. The 1 to 1.272, 1 to 1.618 uh, areas to the upside. The 1.272 is 29.93. The 1.618, 32.10 out there. You can see at 31.77 out here. Well, that's, what was your actual question? Please give me a daily, weekly, and monthly analysis on CCJ. I'm along this equity and looking for support and resistance for all three time frames. So support is going to be on the daily time frame 2604 resistance 3177 3177 is a td9 count breakdown level out there with regard to the weekly time frame support is at 2554 that's its oscillator and change line resistance is at 3147 top of the weekly profile in the case of the monthly time frame resistance is the high of its dark cloud cover candle that is the price point of uh 3249 and supports at 2539 so again CCJ, you've got a nice A to B equals CD to the upside. Price is on the left-hand side of that C to D. Like, remember, I kept the exact same angle from A to B that we have from C to D. This was telling us that it wants to do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD, very much like we looked at the ESNQ, Dow, and the Russell 2000, a similar kind of a setup up here. So it does look like Alan just wants to uh, go ahead up into that 3177 level. He just simply now, the weekly time frame, this is bar number eight on a weekly basis. So, Alan, this suggests that a top could form between this week and two more weeks from now. Right now, I would say, based upon the chart patterns out here, that price should make its run for that 3147, 3177, or maybe that high out there that we took a look at. So I hope that that helps you out. And the best of luck to uh, you and all the denners that are in that uh, long CCJ trade out there. No other requests at the moment. Let me just make sure. Nothing that I see inside the Tiger's Den either. So a quiet morning here. Let's go figure out what we want to take a look at next. I think what we'll look at next will be the uh, weekly A to B equals CD patterns uh, for the indices out here. So let's go give you that information. We'll switch over, take a look at the uh, cash indice charts out here. So the Dow, the 1 1 price projection out there is 31,911. The 1 1.272, 31,516. In the case of the SP 500, the 1 to 1 is at 39,97. The 1 to 1.272, 39,041. The 618 is 38,7085. In the case of the NDX 100, 1 to 1, 12,297. 1 1 1.272, 12,059. 618, 11,755. The case of the Russell, 1846 is the one to one. 1814, the 1.272. 1773, the 1 1.618. The semis, 2722 basically is the one to one. 2654 is the 1.272. And 2567 is the 1 1.618. And finally, the trainees out here, the one to one target, 14154, 1.272 is down at the uh, 13,931 level. And the 1.618 gets us down into the 13,648 level. So those are all the A to B equals CD patterns. What you want to be looking at there is you want to be looking for some type of bullish reversal candle as price gets down into those areas. That would then confirm a buy the D point pattern out there. Nancy wants to go take a look at Amazon, A-M-Z-N. And Nancy says, could you look at Amazon for next week? Where is it on your TD9 count chart? Thank you. So let's go ahead and switch back to the white background charts to answer those questions for Nancy. And uh, 
Bar number eight, Nancy, is where we're at inside of the daily time frame for Amazon. So very much like we took a look at inside the NDX 100 or the NQ out here, this suggests that Amazon uh, could or should. So it's got an A to B equal CD to the down. So let's put in both the patterns. So the first question was, you were asking about the TD9 count, bar number eight. That suggests Amazon should form some type of bottom between today and Wednesday. Now, just because it should does not mean it will. When a TD9 count pattern forms, if it uh, the first couple of bars, if all it is a sideways move or a hiccup out there, or you take out the pattern, that's the more important thing, that would tell you about a strong momentum move to the downside. The one-to-one -one price projection for Amazon would get you to about the 123.40-ish area out there. So again, Amazon could or should form a TD9 count bottom between today and Wednesday. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We'll finish off Amazon for Nancy and the Tigers. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at the charts here for Amazon. This is for Nancy inside the Tiger's Den out there. I believe we provided her with what she's uh, looking for. Now, on Friday, Amazon stopped found support, I should say, at the bottom of its weekly profile. That was at 130.35. Price is trading below that right now. So that favors, as long as price Nancy remains below that area, we're talking about bar number eight of a TD9 count, it really suggesting to me that uh, price will go target the 122.95 level. So perhaps that happens between now and Wednesday. Uh, we get down to that support of its weekly asset and change line. We get a TD9 count bottom. Now, because you have a TD9 count bottom and you've got an A to B equals CD, if it can get to that one-to-one -one level out there, then what we would be taking a look at is you'd be looking for a bullish reversal candle uh, to confirm at least some type of bounce that you would take that would take place inside of Amazon. 
So I think the daily and the weekly are the ones to really focus in on out here. Nancy, I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request out there. Uh, we've got a request to take a look at uh, Bitcoin for Inno inside the Tiger Den. So Bitcoin would be trading what? Uh, if I can figure out real quickly, what's the current current contract for Bitcoin? Um, let me see. Let's show up. Uh, yeah, it might still be September. So let's put this in here, BTC09-22. And so what we're taking a look at is Bitcoin futures out there um, versus Bitcoin cash. So if we take a look at Bitcoin futures out here, and I'm looking at the September contract, uh, what I see here is an A to B equals CD to the downside as well. So let's go type that in. So I'll put in the A to B leg out there. Looks like it's probably about like that. We'll just move that over to the C to D leg. There we go. And so what that's giving you is a price projection, A to B, a one-to-one -one of the 17 to 25 area. Let's pull this back just a tad. So what we know that we have inside here is a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom. And that price projection will unfold if we see a close below the low of that pattern, which is 18,790. So 18,790 is likely where price is headed to. If it takes that level out, then it will go ahead and complete that uh, A to B equals C to the downside. Now, I'm not saying it will only do a one-to-one, -one, but it will go do at least that one-to-one -one A to B equals C to, to the downside. I don't have any, uh, well, I do have a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom signal on the weekly, but that's not what I, I, that's likely not the pattern. In fact, if we do BTC and we just simply go to the continuous contracts out here, let's see what populates for the uh, weekly and the monthly time frames out there. Yeah, so on a monthly time frame, what you can see out here, uh, this is got, shows the price be, is below its uh, red oscillator and change line out there. However, what has been triggered is a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. So if Bitcoin on a weekly basis were to form some type of uh, bullish reversal candle and close above its red oscillator and change line, that would be at least suggesting getting back to its recent highs or maybe into the 28,326 level out there. Now, if on a monthly basis, Bitcoin can go take out those lows, the lows I'm referring to are from two months ago, and that's at 18,575. All it needs to do is spike that level, you know. If price can spike below that level, then what you will have is a TD9 count bottom pattern out there. Now, remember, on a TD9 count bottom, that low can form or has to form a bar's eight, nine, or the bar following nine, so that still opens that up for on a monthly basis for next month, even being a lower low, getting back to the bar following bar number nine. If that were to occur, has not occurred just yet. If bar number, uh, uh, and that would give you a price target of 12, 535. So how do we summarize this? There's an A to B equals CD to the downside. Gets us into that 17,000, 16,000, 17,000 area. That's not going to come to fruition unless price takes out that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. That's at 18,575. So that's the first key level you're looking at. If that gets taken up, then you're likely headed lower. 12,535 could even be a price target to the downside. That's coming from your monthly TD9 count breakout level. And on the weekly, you'd be watching for a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom there. So I hope that helps you out. You know, with regard to Bitcoin, let's go to our next request. This one coming in by email. This is from Alton. And Alton wants to take a look at... Um, Google, support and resistance level. So let's get the uh, Google charts up on our screen out here. We'll provide that to Alton. We'll do that for the daily, the weekly, and the monthly timeframes out here. Google also, I'm sure, in an A to B equals CD to the downside, but momentarily will. Yeah, so you've got an A to B equals CD to the downside. You're in bar number eight. Uh, that says a bottom could form between today and Wednesday out there. So very similar pattern. Price is trading below the bottom of its weekly profile, which is 111.43. It's really Google's just been in a nice sideways consolidation that began back in uh, May, May 27th out there. Um, what else do we have for Google? So you're looking for support and resistance out here. So support, wow. So for support, for support, what are we going to uh, use? So in the case of the daily time frame, there really isn't any support other than getting all the way back down to its hammer candle bottom from May 24th out there. In other words, we're below profile, we're below the oscillator and change line, there's no TD9 count breakout level. So then I've just simply got to resort to the last pattern, bottom pattern that was out here, and that formed again on May the 24th out there. So that level of support, just so you know, is at 102.21. 
We're below the bottom of the weekly profile. So you've got the hammer candle from uh, May as well. Again, that's the same figure, 102.21. That's really your support level. And on the monthly time frame, support could be at 108.83, 100.50, or 97.97. So Google, like the NQ, uh, like a couple other instruments, you've got TD9 count bottom patterns that are potentially going to form here. Uh, in the case of Google, that could be between today and Wednesday of this week out there. So thanks so much for the request. Um, you're welcome, and Nancy, on Amazon. Steve Rhodes, please look at Apple if you haven't done it. Looks like it is below its A to B equals CD pattern. That is from Muck. M U K. So let's go take a look at A A P L and try to answer that question. See what Apple is doing out there uh, with regard to its price projection. In fact, what I probably need to do, we'll do that here momentarily. Is let me get that up on the black background screens because there it's much easier. Well, that's fine. oh, I put a hey, M U K. There's no ticker symbol that says M U K. That just shows you Stevie cannot do two things at once out there. Looking at that thinking I'm typing an Apple, and instead I'm typing an MUK. Well, we're going to go switch over to the uh, white background charts out here, or the black background charts momentarily, because you specifically asked about the A to B equals CD pattern. So let's go take a look at it. And you are absolutely correct. Price has already hit the one-to-one -one price target level. That was 161.15. We're trading at 161.06 as we speak right now. The 101.272 price expansion is 158.45. The 1.618 is 155.45. O2. So what you want to watch for here is, again, you'd be looking for some type of bullish reversal candle. If you got that, then what you would have is a Gartley buy pattern. If you don't get that, then price should continue to head lower. Now, even though I gave you these price targets, they're really used as uh, guidelines. They're not used as price needs to hit that to the tick or anything along those lines. We do need price to at least get down to the one-to-one -one area to then at least establish the potential for a buy the D point pattern. But so this is where price will continue to head lower until we see some type of bullish reversal candle. That's typically the way that it works out there. So Apple, the next price target looks like 158.45. If we switch back and take a look at at the white background price is also at support though i should should mention this price is at support muck uh at the uh, bottom of its weekly profile so 160.46 is really a key level to watch why because if price gets below that it's really signaling to you and i that it wants to head lower real quickly here we'll change back to that white background screen what you will see here is apple is going to form bar number seven today that says that its TD nine count could not form until tomorrow through Thursday out there. So MUK, I hope that helps you out. And now you know there is no ticker symbol with those initials. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on a cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome uh, back, uh, folks. So when we take a look at the Apple charts here, just to finish them off, uh, you'll see that, um, you know, there still shows a TD9 count uh, pattern out there. Now, it, that's not a TD9 count top. The high there is on bar number seven. And bar number nine is only going to complete if Apple closes below, I'm sorry, closes above. Closes above 165.35 at week's end. Uh, now, this would be bar number nine. Of course, there can be a higher high the following week. But th that's not a likely pattern. But what we do know about Apple on a weekly basis, as I mentioned earlier, price is sitting at support, the bottom of its weekly profile, and that's at the 160.46 level. And below that, you've got the oscillator and change line at 159.49. You get below that, that's a signal that Apple wants to move lower. I defer back to the daily A to B equals CD pattern that's in place, as well as the potential for a TD9 count bottom out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to Apple. Let's go to our next request out here. Next request coming in from Hector and Patty. Hector says, happy Marvelous Monday, COP. So let's get that up on our screen here. That is ConocoPhillips. Uh, COP, resistance, support, and the oscillator and change line. A weekly AB equals CD up target would be appreciated as well. Uh, so uh, let's go take a uh, look at these patterns here. So you asked about uh, first is resistance, support, and the oscillator and change line. Resistance very easily. From a daily perspective, it's 119.64. That's the TD9 count breakdown level. You can see we're in an A to B equals C to the upside. No bearish reversal candles have formed out there. You're only in bar number six. So 119.64 is the next uh, projection level out there. With regard to the weekly time frame, you asked about an A to B. Oh, you also wanted oscillator and change line. That's at 107.80. So that would really be your support for the daily time frame. For the weekly time frame, it's 106.45. That's the oscillator and change line. And resistance is its prior high. That prior high from a June 24th out there, that's at 124.08. On a monthly basis, you have a TD9 count top. That would get negated with a close above 117.99 if that were to occur by, today's the 29th, the 30th, right? September 30th, by tomorrow out there so that would uh, don't know that that will happen but even if it doesn't happen the signal for the monthly time frame is neutral why you're above the top of the weekly profile which is at 112.48 old resistance could become new support we won't know that till the end of tomorrow and you're above the oscillator and change on a 93.62 so you're asking about the a to b equals cd to the upside for conical phillips so for that what we're going to do is switch over to the black background charts because it's much easier for me to draw that A to B equals CD pattern for you. And that way it's really dead on balls accurate out there. So from a weekly perspective for ConocoPhillips, boy, you know, the question is where do you start with your A point for this A to B equals CD? My preference here is what? I would say, um, let me see. Yeah. You know, I'll give you the the smaller A to B equals C D. You know, I, I like the I like the daily time frame chart for your A to B equals C D out here, Patty and Hector. You know, it shows your next price target in the 11974. Remember 11964 was a TD9 count breakdown level. 
Um, because where are you going to what are you going to use for the A point on the weekly chart? Are you going to come all the way back down to the lows of 2020? And then what are you going to use for the B point? Because there's multiple A to B equals CD patterns out here. So this probably ends up giving us the same as the daily time frame. In other words, I'll do the conservative one and start down here at the December 2021 lows, the high out here from June of 2022, and then that retracement looks up 0.786, and that would give us the one-to-one -one at 130. So now it's a different A to B equals CD, 136. Um, 32. But price is not above, you know, the B point, the current B point, that swing point from June 6. The volume there was 35 million shares. Last week, as price was moving into it, it hit volume of 32 million shares. So at least you're rising with volume. So Hector and Patty, um, you're on the uh, road dropping your child off at uh, Stanford Law. Congrats to you. Yes, you should be proud and you should be bragging about that. Uh, of course, uh, you don't want to be bragging about the bill that that is going to uh, cost. So, uh, but I, with regard to the A to B equals CD patterns out there, stay with the daily out here. And uh, I do hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for, as always, for taking the time to go ahead and write in. Uh, no other requests that I see here. Again, just making sure. Steve, perfect on the OUL. Okay. Uh, here you go. GSM. GSM. Oh, you were at Dan. You asked about GSM. I don't think we got to that. Did we? Did I forget about that? Is, am I having old brain farts uh, this quickly? I don't think we took a look at uh, GSM. So let's pull this up for uh, Dan. And his question, now I've got to find the question. Steve, I was trying to go deeper into GSM at your price. It had a standing order at 655. It hit 663. So um, did I miss it based on the profiles? Hmm. No, not necessarily. So the daily profile, so you got that nice TD9 count top out here. I think you need just a, perhaps a little bit more patience, perhaps, out here. Price is below that uh, green oscillator and change line. So the actual buy zone out here is between 628 and 643. And that's where the bullish structure profile is. Now, the weekly time frame shows what? The weekly time frame shows that uh, price basically hit its green oscillator and change line. And that was priced at the uh, 662. Now, I'm not sure where it was earlier in the day, but right around that 662 level, and you were saying yeah, it hit 663. Um, so from a profile standpoint, no. From an oscillator and change standpoint, you know, yeah, this morning could have been the uh, buy there. But now let's go take a look at an intraday chart. Let's pull over the 30-minute time frame chart area here for GSM. And what do we have? What do we have? <laughs> You know, we have, Dan, is simply the chart is stuck. Oh, geez, I'm on the wrong screen. Sorry about that. How did I do that? Here we go. So now let's pull this back. Uh, Dan, well, here, I'll stick with the 30-minute chart, Dan, and now we'll go. So the, I, do I have a bottom pattern? You know, there's probably an A to B equals CD pattern that confirmed out here at about uh, 3 o'clock yesterday, uh, Friday afternoon. Um, and now price is above the top of its profile. You're in bar number seven. Looks like price is going to go target the 713 area, but you may get a TD9 count top on the 30-minute time frame chart. That would then give you a, another signal of a move to the uh, downside out there because what you've got is lower highs and lower lows on the 30-minute time frame chart out there. So I'm not sure that you missed it. Back to the uh, daily time frame. Sorry that I was not showing this to you. Here you can see the bottom of its, or the bottom and center is a bullish structure daily profile, 628 to 643. That's the buy zone, a TD9 count top out here. As long as price remains below 698, that is still a possibility. Here you can see the 662 from the weekly time frame out here, Dan. Uh, that was the weekly oscillator and change line. So that's what we see when we take a look at GSM. And uh, so I don't know that you've totally missed it. You might have missed it for this morning. But uh, maybe, maybe not. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, Mr. Bill, thanks for letting me know that I didn't have the uh, charts up there. Dan, you as well. And uh, sorry about that. It wasn't the chart that was stuck. It was Stevie that didn't do what he was supposed to do out there. So we're about uh, 15 seconds or so away from the uh, next break. Let's go take a look at just the overview of the markets out here, see what they were doing right now. So we're well off of the lows. Um, as we can see, got the Dow down 149, the S&P 23, the Nasdaq 127 out there. So what we should do here as we cut out for the uh, next breakout here is let's go back to take a look at those 60-minute uh, time frame charts. We'll uh, switch our screens out here, see what they're doing. 
see what they're doing as they deal with resistance levels. So they're on the way up. Resistance 4049 for the ES, 12652 for the NQ, 32150 for the YM, and 189160 for the Russell 2000. Look right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's off 149. S&P's down 23. NASDAQ 100, 121. The Russell's off 12 points out there. So uh, we've got a little bit of a rally out here. Let's try to figure out where the resistance area is uh, likely to uh, come in at. And we're going to go to the 30-minute time frame charts here for the ES Mini. Why are we doing that? The reason that we're doing that is uh, Stevie's got this uh, cool uh, TAS market profile tool that shows us a 30-minute time frame. It's called the Edge out there. And for the 30-minute time frame, it's the only one that is bullish, by the way. So I've got four or five different time frames that we can look at. 30, 60, 4-hour, daily, and weekly. So the shortest time period that I've got is a 30-minute chart. What I mean by that, a 30-minute chart that shows me how many instruments are trading above profile for this time frame and how many below. Well, we have 199 that are above profile, 67 below. Why is that helpful? Well, because now what we're going to do is look at the 30-minute time frame chart, and we see that we've got a bullish structured profile. Price should be able to make it, since it's above the center at 40.29, it should be able to make its run to resistance. That's at 40.50.50. That would be or could be the next sell point. If price closes above that, then likely price heads higher. Let's take a look at the NQ for the same time frame out here, see what it is doing in relationship to its uh, profile. So price is right now dealing with the center of its bullish structured profile. If price can close above 12468, 
That's the setup its profile. That would suggest to move to 12, 6, 10. Now let's go back to the 30 minute time frame. That was the ES mini that we were looking at, or the S&P. Now let's take a look at the NQ. What do its market profiles for its 30 minute time frame tell us? You've got the kissing cousins technique right now. If you take a look at the uh, lines on the right hand side, you'll see both the green and round line, red lines are touching each other. You have 37 instruments trading above the top, 29 trading below. If it maintains this, and I don't have anything to suggest that it won't, but if it maintains this uh, 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 positive TAS market, I think it's better. And what the NQ is telling you is it wants to make a run for 12, 6, 10, and a quarter. Folks, thanks so much for being here on Magical Monday. Please stay tuned. We've got great programming up next. I'll be back with you tomorrow, 11 o'clock sharp. And have a, uh, have a great day. We'll see you again soon.